It gives me great pleasure, as usual, to welcome all of you to the National Greyhound Awards presentation ceremony here, which is being held in the Radisson Hotel in Limerick. Over the next few hours, we will recall many of the great deeds and achievements of the 2010 Irish Greyhound season, and we'll honour the champions who provided us with such wonderful entertainment on the, in the course of those 12 months. It's down to business, and as ever, we commence with the Brood Bitch Award. This famous envelope contains the name of the Brood Bitch of the Year, and the winner of that award is Tyre Temptress. Yeah, well, I was delighted about that because, funny enough, you know, I, I put a huge amount of value on the Brood Bitch of the Year, you know, and. I thought maybe her mother was very unlucky not to get it two years ago at uh, Tower Parallel. That was, le was last year, I think. And I thought she was very unlucky not to get it. And, um, you know, when you have a litter like she had, you know, she's an exceptional litter. All the, every one of them are open class. And our next litter are turning out to be quite good as well, you know, they're, they're open class as well. So that's a very special award, and she's a very special bitch, and she's very close to us at home. So I was absolutely delighted about that one. And the sprinter of the year for this year, if we get the right envelope. Yes, the Sprinter of the Year, again, the three nominations there. We had Carlos Pride, Sheepwalk Mac, and Yes Boss. That's a pretty long word written, or two words in front of me. Winner, Sprinter of the Year 2010, Sheepwalk Mac. What is Shirley, yeah. He's a very fast grey, how nice he is. And we bought him for Aidan McAllister, so we did now. That's his wife behind you, I saw this. From very, very early age, he was on a very he was very good early on, she was. And early on, you tried to win one or two five to five races as well, and then yeah, yeah, you went back to sprinting. Yeah, he, he went around uh, in Lufford in about 2965, I think it was, or 2865, so it was yeah. the 525. So no, he, he can stay all right now. Well, the stayer of the year for 2010, Kiltray Kev. John Doyle. A great day for you, not alone owning the winner of the Marathon of the Year, but also breeding and training. That must give you special pleasure. Oh, it's terrific, terrific, yeah. Uh, I'm delighted. I didn't think I'd ever be here. But uh, the dog was running well, and the only disappointment is that he's not running anymore. Yeah, that was a dreadful disappointment, uh, the end breaking yeah. his heart that night. Yeah, yeah, but you never dream. I never had anything like this before. You know, I was never nominated or never won anything like that. Or, the night in Harold's Cross was a great night for me, a terrific night. And then the night down in Clonmel that he broke the track record and done the national track record. You know, that was achievement. So I'm very happy. I think I'll do what to do. You know, give this 10 second or 15 second pause. No, it's not fair, folks. The Bitch of the Year 2010 is Dalkash Davinsky. Well done. Marvellous moment for you. A great pitch and the whole story, a, a, a real triumph. It's a real triumph, but I'm afraid that uh, tonight in Greyhound Racer, I have peaked. I say from now on, it's going to be downhill. <laughs> but I, I enjoyed it while I was there. And as you know yourself, uh, the actual night of the final, I was over in, in the Black Hills of Dakota. And somebody got on the uh, mobile phone to me and gave me a commentary on the, uh, on the race. And we're in a coach, and the guy in charge of the coach said, there's somebody on this coach tonight who has a ground in a big race in Ireland. And they were all from Canada and from New Zealand, and they thought I was in the Kentucky Derby. So they announced they had won, there was a big clap, and they came back for photographs and all kinds of stuff. So the big moment, folks, it's our dog of the year. We decided it's going to be a tower, and which one is it going to be? The dog of the year for 2010 is Tyre McGuigan. 
If somebody had said to you last October that Tara McGuigan would end up as the dog of the year, would you have believed him? If someone told me a week before the derby, I wouldn't believe them. But you know, maybe that just shows you how good the dog was. You know, he would do everything for the English derby. He, would beat he won his first round with seven minutes. We always thought a lot of him now, but we never thought he'd be a 550 dog. So a very, very fast dog. And I'll tell you one thing, he's not finished. 